Hi guys, today we're going to learn a little bit about pulling focus. So as you probably noticed, the focus shifted from my finger being the key point of focus to my face. Now, why would we want to do this in a scene? Well, you could always have the scene so that, um, say for example, I have a space ray gun. If we want the space ray gun to be the main point of focus, we focus on the space ray gun. I drop into the background and everybody knows that this puppy means business. It's a, basically the filmmaker's way of pointing something out. So for example, I now obviously have a space ray gun. The ray gun is definitely loaded and the audience is gonna die. Yes. Oh, isn't that amazing? But you know, if we focus back on me, this sort of drifts out of the picture. It's not that important anymore. You know, uh, the focus is gone from it and it is gone. And I become, I retain my focus as the lead role in the film, rescue the girl and hopefully get lots of sex, which is amazing. Now, um, basically, how does the pull focus work? It goes along a principle called depth of field. Now, depth of field basically goes along the principle of lens aperture. For example, uh, how wide your given lens is at any one point. If it's a closed aperture, you've got a high F number. If it's a wider aperture, you've got uh, a lower F number. Uh, this lens goes from an aperture of 16 at its smallest all the way to open completely at 0.95. Now this is more than you will ever need um, if you're going to be using the pull focus sort of feature for cameras. What you would need is, um, I would recommend a focus area of an f-stop of say 1.4 to 2. The lens I'm using has got a focus of 2 and as you see I'm able to pull focus quite well in this scene. So um, if we're going to use, for example, um, where did I put it? <laughs> if we're going to use this one, which is an f-stop of 1.8, um, we can focus between different points in the scenes um, like so. Say, for example, we start on the cat. Then we slowly change our focus, ignoring the SLR magic lens onto Let's Have Fun, who's my only friend in the whole wide world. And then we come all the way back to the cat. Okay, so we've seen the um, pull focus in the scene between two different characters who may be having whatever conversation that you like. Meow, 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 meow. And Let's Have Fun is being all like, I'm Let's Have Fun. I'm Alex's only friend. Yes, yes, isn't this mad? But, you know, that that's kind of useful when you're, uh, you've are you got two different characters in the same scene. You can also use it to point out things like I used it to uh, emphasize the fact that the captain of the freighter had um, disintegrated in my short film Dreamscape, putting a link in the bar below. Uh, basically, pull focus, it's kind of a handy tool. You really, really need a manual lens for it. Um, I would strongly recommend um, an f-stop of 1.4 to um, 2. I personally like an f-stop of 1.7 for pull focus. I know it sounds really random, but I've got an absolutely excellent manual Michael lens for that. Um, so that's really, really handy. Um, anyway, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you like the video, uh, feel free to subscribe. If you don't like the video, please press the dislike button. Uh, let me know what I've done wrong. I'd like you to talk to me in the comments. Uh, if you like it, please press like. And I hope you have a lovely day. Take care.